Okay, so I'm gonna let it let it kind of uh, permeate into the divine holy matrix, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to let me, let me get this set up right. Get okay. And uh, let me check the. Uh, I'll roll the show out formally in just a second. Okay. Let me see here. Let I me mean, just make sure everything's okay. My phone's going nuts. <laughs> I, I, you know, you turn it on silent and it just vibrates <laughs> like hell. Exactly. Right, you know. <laughs> All right. So, hello, Jessica Lucido. Hello, I'm new here. Glad to have you here, Alexia Isra. Isra. Mary Cooper, Rain Schrader. We're going to roll the show out in just a second. Let's see. We've got 15 people in the house. Let me check the sound. I would imagine, though, they would have told me already. It's <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay, we got, right there. We got a little bit of a feedback. Are Is you, that me? Do you, do you have uh, a second device that's got volume on? Um, I'm on Facebook. I can get off that. Yeah, get off I'll that. get off that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now you're good. Now, now I'm good. Perfect. Okay. Test, test. It's all right. Whatever it is, it's all right. Better. Okay. Good. It's it's a slight feedback. It's okay, but it's very it's very uh, quiet. We got 32 people in the house. Let me. Uh, I'm going to roll the show out, but let me just let me give some hellos here. Uh, Evie, Anastasiadi, uh, T. Marie. I just saw you. It's good to see you again, Michael Van Patten, Juan Jose Vallejo Civicos, my Hi, brother. Hi, Michael. <laughs> uh, Kimberly Dewar, uh, Jennifer Robin Russell, John Garrison, Kaya Pralet, uh, Lisa Jane, Carla Diaz, uh, who did I miss? Patricia Satchwell, Winshi Baremo, David Brown, Angel Divine, Donna Green, Kimberly. Oh, they're <laughs> coming too fast. We got 36 people in the house. So let me, let me formally uh, roll the show out. Uh, I mean, there's some new faces here, so I'm just going to go ahead and introduce myself. Uh, John Mackey, what's up, brother? Uh, my name is Todd Medina, and this is the Sology Network, and this is our primary uh, broadcast, uh, primary show, uh, for lack of a better word, uh, pr primary <laughs> activator. <laughs> Let's put that. It's called Soul Speaks 5D. It's a conversation with, and today it's Valerie Elster, Divine Goddess. <laughs> I want to welcome you to the show. And I want thank to thank you. you for sharing space with us and honoring us with your presence. It's good to have you here. It's good to have you here. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you, Todd. I, I'm I'm so excited to be here. You're doing such amazing work. So just just so blessed to be here. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm blessed to be here. We're all blessed to be here. <laughs> you know? uh, but it is yeah. it is an honor to have you here. Uh, you know. As everybody knows, and for those of you who don't know, we have a conversation here. Nothing's rehearsed. It's pretty spontaneous. We did talk for a few minutes, which I don't normally do because I forgot <laughs> we were going on <laughs> 11 minutes after. So I don't know how that happened. So, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I know I, I can't even remember, and it doesn't matter now, how we connected because uh, I've got so many going on in my head all the time. People, you know. Yeah. I mean, there's probably 300 people that have contacted me want to come on the show. And, it, <laughs> and it, you know, spirit spirit connects, you know, in sequence uh, when yes. the time is right, divine time. And so, yeah, but I, but I know you've been in the game, so to speak, for a long time. And uh, <laughs> I used to ask everybody when they came on the show, when you woke up, when did you wake up? But maybe you can just give us a little backdrop as how long you've been uh you know, woke up in the sense of, hey, there's something going on here beyond I have these abilities and I'm getting this and getting that. But, you know, in terms of that, there was something happening that we call ascension, apocalypse, the unveiling, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Yes, um, I have I have that story. Um, I was uh, just a brief background. I came out of the Internet industry, so I was already in zeros and ones and technology, uh, more on the marketing side. And so I have a business background. And it was one of those times where, you know, I was really seeking some some inner fulfillment. You know, I think I shared with you, I, I had started an internet company and sold it. And uh, so it was abundant and feeling really amazing on that level, on a financial level. But I really lacked that, that you know, what, what is this about? And money is not bringing me this fulfillment that I thought it would. 
And so I did go on my own journey in 2004, uh, getting into Reiki and Akashic Records. And I really dove in deep of for my own, um, you know, and my own journey of, well, what's, what's deeper here? What is next? I knew there was something else for me. Uh, I just didn't know what it was. And so Reiki was this bridge for me from this business side into more of who I really am in the spiritual way. And so um, I continued there and just kept learning and opening the space and honing my intuition. And then in 2012, like many of us, January 2012 was the proverbial two by four. Um, <laughs> I was married. I, I had a three-year-old. I was starting to feel like I needed to come back into my practice uh, because, you know, I was turned my attention to mommyhood. And that's when everything just literally an atom bomb went off. Um, you know, on, on January 11th, I think it was 2012, when Gaia introduced herself to me and that opened up uh, such amazing possibilities of, wow, I have a bigger purpose here. There's something that's calling me uh, beyond what I've been doing. And so that's where uh, I started. I just started. I started doing so many different things and awakening to a much higher version of, of what I had been doing. Yeah. <laughs> like many of us, I think that's a common story. 2012 or 2011, it's, I started feeling that something was about to happen yeah. uh, at the end of 2011. So yeah. Yeah, that that's, was the opening. That's about it for me too. Right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mine started like uh, May 30th, 2011. Mm -hmm. And uh, six weeks later, I went homeless by my own choice. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and so I went for like, and I had all these divine things, divine episodes happening, mm -hmm. or, or mm -hmm. divine intervention or whatever you want to call it. And so I, but I was in, like many of us, I was in that two by four hit in the head uh, <laughs> mode. And, uh, and I wasn't, I was really wasn't fully engaged. Mm -hmm. And then. And then it was, it's funny you say that because in then December, right before the end of the year, right before Christmas yeah. Yeah. Uh, of, of 2011, I went for a walk and, uh, and I came back from the walk. I was renting a room for by the week and, uh, and I sat on the bed and I had a glass of warm tea next to me and I, and I put my hands together cause I had like this 3d path, traditional 3d <laughs> paradigm path that was presenting itself to me. And I put my hands together and I said, can I trust this path? <laughs> and I had a glass of warm tea next to me. They'd been there for like an hour and a half and it just exploded. All over oh, me. are you kidding? <laughs> no, well, I just got chills. <laughs> it, it was all, it was all over me Oh my and glass God. and everything. And I'm sitting there going, Holy shit. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you got your sign. Vibration. Yeah. And all I could see was this Archangel Michael thing, you know, yeah. which had been presenting itself. But I thought, you know, what is that? You know, I mean, you know, my imagine it. You know, we all been through that. We're all like, oh my God, am I crazy? <laughs> am I crazy? What's going on? Yeah. So, so what's the what what's the core of your mission now? What are you where are you what are you moving into now? You know, the core, and just to reference back when this all happened, um, there was somebody involved. A man had shown up prior to this grand awakening who I'll call my divine compliment yeah. because I said I was married at the time, but I knew and it, it wasn't fulfilling. It wasn't, you know, I wasn't growing any further with this person, father of my child. And so I just want to mention that because that was really a pivot yeah. to stepping into this greater awakening. Um, I started receiving just umpteen downloads and codes and numbers and pictures. And it was so overwhelming. It was literally all day, every day, because I was already connected. And so this was just this, you know, furthering of this connection. So it was unclear specifically my role, but it was definitely the divine feminine. It was allowing me to step into my power yeah. in this way to assist Gaia and her children, which is all of us in her ascension. And so that was, that was the message. You're here to activate the grids, to, um, you know, start to uh, engineer and, and 
understand programs and platforms and uh, essentially what I call all this future technology, new earth technology. Yeah. Uh, that was really my, my new awakening and my new purpose. And so that has been still one of the mainstays of why I'm here. Um, the other is as an ambassador of peace or an emissary of peace. Um, I just got chills just saying that because yeah. That's been my overarching goal here is to activate all these different aspects of my being to re-encode what much of the trauma on this planet into this species. Yeah. So that's really, I'd say, as far as my highest intention. Um, and then the day-to-day -day has changed, as you know. <laughs> you, know you wake yeah. up and it's like, okay, <laughs> what's happening today? You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who am I working for today? Right. So. It's like, yeah, it's like <laughs> I always say, you know, I, I learned early on when I was walking the streets, it's like, okay, well, if ascension's on a scale of one to 10 yeah, and I, and I hit a 10 on Monday, I wake up on Tuesday and there's a new one to 10 and the old 10 is a one. <laughs> like, exactly. oh my. But I was going to ask you, uh, you know, you know, being involved with Morgan for three years, uh, yes. I, I learned um, and I'm still learning all of the, First of all, so many, so many divine feminines carrying sacred wisdom mm -hmm. uh, that there are recalling, as you've described, yes. uh, you know, from so many different lifetimes and dimensions, mm -hmm. galactic and otherwise. Uh, and you, you seem to have, I think you mentioned uh, a pretty good pedigree there, uh, because I know like in her case, and I think it sounds like in your case, uh, you know, you're connected to the Egyptian and some of the uh, older civilizations, and I'm sure as well as the galactic. I don't know if you could talk on on that a little bit uh, as, as far as what you've received and from where and, and uh, anything you find significant. Yes, exactly. And, and I think that's such an important point because many um, have also, you know, had the remembrances, had the flashbacks, the feeling of they were in Egypt or Atlantis. And when all of this started, when I had this huge awakening, it was Atlantis. Atlantis was um, uh, from the earth uh, standpoint, from the earth grids, the activation. And I remember getting a new guide about a month before this all happened. And he wasn't ex talking to me. He just showed up and said, hi, you know, I'm Horatio. And I'm like, okay, hey, <laughs> but he wasn't <laughs> saying anything. And then all of a sudden um, he started talking and this man showed up and, you know, from the, uh, from the cosmic side, the Pleiadian showed up and said, hi, we're the council. You're on the Pleiadian council. I'm just like, what the, what is happening? It was, it was a, it was like an orchestration of all of these different aspects of my being that had been activated with meeting this man. And that's what, you know, as you know, just from what you're doing with Morgan and Hani Borden, who I'm very close with and her beloved and a lot of other couples, this is why we come together to unlock each other. And so when Alex is his name, Alex and I came together, we started unlocking these remembrances and these codes and this information. And so Atlantis was uh, the most advanced civilization on earth that we've had in the physical, in the physical right. realm. And so Atlantis opened up and all of a sudden, all of my remembrance of being a priestess and a scientist, uh, the two main aspects of my Atlantean lifetime, those started flooding in. And so just sharing a lot of what we have grounded here and what we're remembering is our um, true divine purpose. It is our true nature. And like many cultures and many civilizations, they thought what they were doing was, you know, was right and, and was cutting edge. And right. Atlantis was very advanced in their technology. However, they were also doing experimentations. Yeah. They were separating. There was control. They were keeping the, you know, the natives uh, on the outside. There were walls. They were using sound frequency to block. So all of these pieces, I, I didn't know initially because uh, we use crystalline technology as we're doing now to uh, encode our bodies and encode our environment. 
but those civilizations were pushing the boundaries on what natural law means yeah. on this planet. This planet has natural law. She is, you know, a spirit. And so that's why there has been turmoil in the past, because if we go against natural law and we separate, then we know what happens. There is destruction on some level. Yeah. And, and so this is what, go ahead. I was just going to say the giant rubber band will snap back. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So just, just, just that remembrance of all that information and then to understand what, what happened and, and why and what my role was. And, you know, this was through my own method, Akashic field therapy uh, that I was working with at the time. And my, I had already had such a connection and remembrance through the Akashic records by facilitating, you know, thousands of sessions since 2005. So I had already been doing a lot of the work and that's when this expanded presence. And again, it was 2012. Many of us got the message that, yeah. that it's time, it's time to reclaim um, who we are and remember why we're here. Absolutely. And so it's been about, you know, getting the gang back together. <laughs> 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 there, seems, there seems to be something to that, you know, uh, people, so much of the stuff that you, you see out there, they, it, it's almost cliche, you know, kind of like, you know, you got to go within, you know, we heard yeah. that whole lives even before we woke up, but, uh, but now it seems to be taking hold. And one of them yeah. is there seems to be a magnetic pool of quote unquote soul tribes coming together, like, yes. like cells in the flower of life. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and no matter what, it's almost like we don't have free will <laughs> in that regard. Being, it's strong. It's very pushed. strong. Yeah, it's yes. pretty hard to it's pretty hard to go against that because as the time goes on, when we do go against anything, it seems to really really snap us, you know, snap us, slap us, or whatever you want to call it. Now, yes. you, the the time that we're in right now, this I mean, this year has been incredible. You know, it's yeah. everyone it really probably since the what was it? The the equinox before Christmas or whatever that mm -hmm. solstice, the solstice. Yeah, the um, winter solstice, 12, yeah. 21. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like and it's just been like a warp speed. But this <laughs> this month, I'd like to get your views on or your perspective on this month, because I I don't get a lot of that stuff that you do or that Morgan does and, and some mm -hmm. of these mostly these divine uh, feminine goddesses uh, that carry the sacred wisdom as far as uh, what's coming, <laughs> you know, forecast. <laughs> I, I, I've strongly received this almost a year and a half that September would be the month of completion, not even knowing really what that means and really not fully knowing what it means now. But yeah. my good friend, Amanda Lawrence, I found out a couple of weeks ago has felt the same way. Do you have any uh, perspective on, on that as far as what this month represents? I do. I do. And I just want to say, um, and, and I might have mentioned, you might have mentioned uh, throughout my journey, I have started to speak what you would call language of light, uh, soul language, star language, root language. And so uh, through my connection with the Akashic, through the remembrance, through activation with so many beloveds, um, uh, not just, you know, twin flames and divine unions, I've had many powerful soul connections with men and women. So through those uh, activations, I started to speak and understand. Uh, and so when you started asking that question, um, the language likes to come up. And so if it's okay, I'd like to share. Of course. And uh, I can translate. Sometimes it's not translatable. I just ask for those listening. It's not something necessarily to understand with your mind. Uh, it's something to feel which I'll just say is really where we're shifting from a thinking uh, species to a feeling, to getting back in touch with our true nature as uh, beings of divine light and also children of this planet. So I will preface that with a little bit of light language. Absolutely. Feel free and then I will answer it. your question. <laughs> At any time, you can answer it in light language. We don't okay. have to the words. <laughs> I want to. I've really started. Uh, I've really made an effort. Uh, to to translate, to ground, uh, because it's very easy to stay up in those realms. As many of you know, it feels great, but uh, we're here on earth and it's really important to 
integrate and and ground in the body. So yeah. uh, I will try my best. Okay, so here's what wants to come in. Elai shohat tokai sande ela takato tokai shoto katsate chando honda yahoto e alanaya sukoto eshai lahatsatu tianduko tokai etai shaka elan tokatsa e shokotsa isha takanduto e shani Chukaloto kuahia e soto elai kotokai shoto to esha al dokaisa sala rutoko esha sando hundai katsato e katso kotsata isha tamborundani aya tokoto sha kotsa isha ishata takanzo shane nahatakesa. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm amazed that because uh, I've had I've had a, I've been around you know I've I've heard Morgan speak you know and I've heard and actually speak several different <laughs> ones and uh, and a lot of people on here and I'm amazed at how there's so many different ones. Yes, very much. And you know, for me, my how do I how I explain it is that soul language. I translate frequencies. Um, it's this handy gift, I guess, <laughs> that I have when I started realizing because I was able to translate multidimensionally, which is really what we're becoming, multidimensional humans, um, I was then getting called in to mediate uh, disputes between the realms. And this started probably in 2013. Uh, when I realized that, oh, I'm being pulled in, not, you know, not necessarily uh, to be part of this negotiation, but to translate, to be a mediate, to mediate. Mm -hmm. And so I say, I'm, you know, a multidimensional Google, I mediate whatever realm it is, whether it's the uh, galactic uh, earth or inner earth, um, animals, you know, any beings, uh, which is really what this language is about. It's allowed me to bridge between the different realms. So I just wanted to say that to those yeah. who might no, you know, never have heard light language uh, spoken. Well, I, so. think it's, I think it's becoming more and more common. <laughs> oh, it is. I can't believe how many people speak it, uh, write it, and and the you know the art is so amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's... there's so much uh, out there. I would really love to uh, do. Um, I've been feeling to do a light language symposium to actually host or be part of it. Uh, I feel like it's time for, you know, everyone. Um, and some people don't know they're doing it. You know, they're just receiving the codes and they're drawing or they're painting or they're writing a book. Um, and so this is it. We're just, we're, we're these step down transformers of the divine. Yeah. We're receiving just like Tesla we are receivers of information and yeah. it's just a matter of how fine tuned you are. It, it yeah. where's your light body, how, how you've tuned it. And that determines what information you receive at what yeah. level, yeah. which is why, you know, we we're, there's many of us receiving at many levels. Yeah. Yeah. And, and even, you know, what our role is, you know, and what our role is yeah. and, and, what we're doing and, and way shower. I'm a way shower. That's an early role as many here are and many tuning in are, and we've been here for years, yeah. uh, showing people the way activating our own light body and then transmitting our frequency, uh, you know, as beacons of light throughout the world, as you and I were saying, we're all over the world yeah. and we've been broadcasting our frequency to realign this planet and uh, bring, um, you know, whatever our divine uh, remembrance is to, to the species. So, you know, just to kind of go into completion, I do feel like that this is the year, um, what I was told and, and brought through was, now it's time to ground the ground crew. Everybody's here, anybody who, you know, has been perhaps operating in other realms, everything has come in. All of the frequencies, you know, all of the different light codes 
everything has been grounded here. Uh, and now is the time for implementation. Yeah. So it is a huge shift in what you might have been doing to what you're going to be doing. Yeah. And so I'm getting the same message. Um, That's a good point. Uh, and you brought up another good point I want to go back to because okay. I've, I've not touched on this subject in 569 shows uh, too much. Uh, mm -hmm. And you were talking about being a mediator in mm -hmm. the governance. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, um, Lisa Transcendence Brown in the show, the second show I did with her, talked about how we are the council and yes. how at some point we embody that. And, and, and that's really the, what you're saying. That's the whole mm -hmm. trick. The whole trick is trick, you know, for lack of a better word, <laughs> is that, you know, we're no longer communicating out there. It's actually being that. Yes. And, and I think that's significant because the downloads, transmissions and channelings are so powerful, especially for people that are starting to get them. Yeah. Is that we can really associate and therefore disassociate with the real power, which mm -hmm. is the human, the divine human, which yeah. is actually this, you know, this is this is what we are. You know, we yeah. all this stuff coming in. <laughs> doesn't just come in so we say oh yeah it's good to see you again we're actually <laughs> yeah. here expanding a creation in a way that it's never been done before which mm -hmm. you know that is that is creation itself creation doesn't sit still you know creation you know yeah creation is a spiritual inertia that moves unimpeded and unobstructed and and yes. we kind of have uh, it's our spin on it now you know it's like our with this knowledge that we've had through these what we thought were dense experiences now that mm -hmm. we're tra beginning to transform them we're actually yeah and so you know it's almost like the universe is sitting on the edge of a seat waiting for us to do what we're <laughs> going to do you know because i think that's a great point which you brought up you know I really oh, good i'm glad you know because yeah, because yes. people we, we can't i mean what's the difference between getting caught up and you know like you said we've been in the higher realms and, and we can't stay there you know yeah we pull that we pull the apples off the tree and we, either, <laughs> we start going down the road again, you know? Uh, yeah. So you, you feel like that, that we're in a, we're in a mode now where um, we're, we're actually as a team, as a ground crew starting to yes. actually implement. What do you think that's going to look like? Um, okay. More language. <laughs> Alea to can so do tari is a unless or two. A land of tan so cuts and jaisha Tian do cutsale, shakats and barone, shakata Chamber cutuko haria seco to caesha In a santam brunde cutu catai shai kata. So as we translate, okay, so everything that we receive then gets translated as we talked about. So for me, it's language. Uh, for others, it's art or music or poetry. So as we translate and integrate into the grid, into the electromagnetic field, which is all over the world, which many have been working on, myself included, since 2012, which, uh, you know, whatever I call myself a uh, world bridger, um, grid keeper. So those of us that have been traveling or stationed on the planet uh, and acting, uh, activating, uh, or reactivating the grids. I know Hani probably talked about this on your show because um, many of us have been in contact and we relay, you know, it's very much like uh, you know, like, like a station, right? Where I'm broadcasting, I'm receiving certain levels of code and then I'm broadcasting that out uh, to specific individuals mm. who are in different parts of the planet. And so a lot of us act as these kind of step down transformers to translate and have the information encoded. And the, the, the pyramids are a great, um, you know, if you follow pyramids, if you understand what the pyramids have been about, they're built on these powerful earth vortexes. And so our ancestors and many of us 
who, you know, have re re-encoded or reactivated these sacred remembrances understand that we are acting almost as these bridges, as these uh, fields or, or, you know, I call the, I, I use the term a lot, um, you know, we're weaving the threads, we're weaving this beautiful tapestry. And so we act as, um, uh, you know, intermediaries between what's happening on the earth mm -hmm. as protection or activation. Mm -hmm. Like when, for example, when I did a lot of work in Hawaii, I was over in uh, uh, Maui last October. I was guided, pulled there to do work and then to the big island in February before Kilauea, uh, you know, started uh, moving and shaking. And then I was just in Kauai a few weeks ago. And that is very much a calling. The land called me there for uh, purposes of whatever needs to happen. And, uh, and so it's been about six and a half years uh, since I've been actively receiving information, actively uh, traveling or energetically connecting to the land to, um, you know, again, reactivate uh, so we can, all of us can take advantage of what this planet really is about. Um, so as I said earlier, when we were talking, uh, I am, I'm retiring, I'm announcing my retirement from, from grid keeper. And that is a completion. So okay. very much, uh, received that I'm, it's ready for me to really shift into, uh, a new purpose here on earth. So yeah. many of you might be feeling the same thing. So I wonder, yeah. I wonder if the, the bulk of the grid work is done. I wonder. Yeah. Uh, in my heart, at least on my, from what I was working on, it has, yeah. it has been done. There's probably more, there's probably different, you know, pieces. Um, I would say as far as continents go, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of, of people that have been weaving over the years, uh, a lot of the heavy lifting has been done. Yeah. A lot of the, the, the real intense uh, work has been done. Um, what's coming up though in my mind's eye is Africa because a lot of, um, I've said this before, I feel like it will be the last uh, continent before earth fully transcends to uh, be activated. Mm. And of course, Egypt, where I've been, many of many people have gone. Um, I have been in Egypt. I was there last year. And so, but I am feeling to go to actual Africa, to mid middle Africa to assist in whatever needs to happen there. So yes, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> that, that, that would make sense that that would be like, you know, you know, the, the, regardless of what your theory, anyone's theory is, you know, as far as how this all occurred in the physicality, was it one mm -hmm. continent that broke up and all that, yeah. that, you know, the roots are there, but yes. I was going to ask you too. I wonder, you know, I'm wondering if there is a, like a, I'll say a new phase of grid work, probably grid works, not, not the term, but where we have these very dense matrix impacted uh, cities and areas such as uh, London or New York, mm -hmm. uh, you know, places like that, where there's a really stronghold there where yes. we might, we might be seeing teams of, of light workers go. What, what's your opinion on that? Um, I would say, I mean, definitely some of the, if you look at the power centers of the earth, uh, what you'll notice is there are areas that we are warned not to go into. So when you see that, like the Middle East, uh, Israel, uh, even Africa, even Egypt, right? Those are uh, the, the very much the power centers. And so you'll see, uh, you know, groups of people, I like to call it in secession, whereas, you know, we'll uh, consciously go in at different times. This happens a lot in Egypt. Um, you'll see that there's various people going in because we each carry a different set of codes. And so once you've activated that, you will be sent typically to an area that is a need uh, of what you're carrying. Uh, 
Right. And so I feel like though more people are shifting, you know, into different aspects, I think there is a new wave coming, yeah. which I believe is happening. Um, and I posted it this morning on my wall, if anybody uh, can see that. I think I, it was public about the Stargates this month that are going to be uh, opening and the new information that's going to be coming in. So I do feel like we're going to see um, a very big shift in our reality and what we're seeing, because that's really what it's about. Uh, we collectively decide what reality we want to ground, what holographic reality we want to uh, live in. And that's when all of us decide, which is what's happening. Uh, like you said, consciously or unconsciously, we're all getting pulled together in such a strong way. You, you, you cannot deny right. <laughs> if it's a person or a place or whatever it is, you know, you're going to get pulled. And that's why, you know, we're talking today and we're all collaborating and we all have the same information because all of our ideas are coming from the collective consciousness or the unified field. Yeah. We're all collaborating. And, and so it's not one of our ideas, it's all of our ideas. And this is how we're going to have a shift in the rest of the planet that may not be in this position yeah. that we are so blessed to be in. So uh, thank you for that. So the, the post that you put out that you got yesterday and you put out today, I shared, yeah. in, I shared into the network. Uh, okay. Can Beautiful. you talk a little bit about what that is? You know, the Stargates, the new Stargates and what that uh -huh. means? So Stargates are, so when I talk about the Orion Stargate opening, well, you know, as we talked about, uh, we are multidimensional beings having a human experience here on planet Earth. But many of us come from different parts of the galaxy. And so the, um, you know, level of information, let's say from Orion, because we are, you know, pieces of us exist in these other realms. You might have a remembrance of one aspect of yourself or multiple aspects. Um, the term monad is coming up because a monad is a soul family or star family. And so that's why there's groups like the Pleiadians, because you feel that your star origin is from that, uh, that realm. And so when a stargate opens, essentially it is opening from that realm, delivering information to us here. And it signals that we are ready for this next stage of evolution. I mean, it's such an exciting time uh, to be on this planet because we are at such a stage of evolution that we haven't really been, at least collectively, in this level of consciousness. Uh, because, you know, there has been times on the planet, of course, I mentioned Atlantis, Lemuria is another advanced civilization, as well as Egypt. But it was a fragmentation. There was just a few that had the knowledge. Yeah. And this is the shift. This is the big pivot, is that all of us have the knowledge. With yeah. the internet, with what you're doing, with what we're all doing, you know, the, the internet is a consciousness all its own. So now we're able to relay and translate and, and share knowledge like never before. And that's why the shift is happening. Yeah. That's why where um, I'm getting chills all over my body. Yeah. So the and, Stargates, go ahead. No, you go ahead. The Stargates. So different Stargates have different purposes. Different star families have different, um, you know, missions on earth. They all carry a different piece. So uh, like Pleiadian, I very much identify with Pleiadian. That was the very first uh, remembrance that I was Pleiadian, that I was here as a messenger of peace and that I was on the Pleiadian Council. And the Pleiadians are very much love. They, they have a very high, you know, uh, love energy and love frequency. And so that's, that's their orientation. Whereas Orion is very much about technology and very much about systems. And so they'll come in and their information is used for systems. 
um, you mentioned Arcturians earlier, mm -hmm. and the Arcturians are about structure. They set up the actual programs, you know, on Earth. And then you've got the Ar the uh, Andromedans and the Syrians are very important uh, because of their contribution to Earth. So it, it is like a grand symphony. It really yeah. is. Yeah, it's it is. all. <laughs> There's so much love for this planet. There's so much love for for these for the human species and we are ascending we have yeah. been ascending yeah and and that's to the level that you want to open to what is happening it's all it's all individual there's no forced ascension although as you said if you're going in one direction and you have a mission you will be pulled and sometimes very strongly yeah. if you're not on task and we, I've had many experiences <laughs> like that. Yeah, that's <laughs> right? For sure. yeah, I'd love take, to hear from everybody because we've all had our experiences. Yeah, you take a left turn and next thing you know, you're making a hard U-turn. <laughs> exactly. They're like, I don't think so. You just said that you were committed. Why are you doing this? Right. You know, let's reroute you. So it doesn't matter really, though. That the, I want to say this because it's important. Um, there's a lot of judgment of self when people wake up and they want to judge their own experience or others judging their experience. And I just want to say, you know, our, our judgment of ourself is really the most important piece to transcend. We're really yeah. here to transcend yeah. duality. There is no right, wrong. There is no good and bad. These are aspects of our human uh, awareness and understanding that no longer serve us. That's right. In unity, yeah. right? We're in unity. There is no duality when you're talking about unity. Yeah. And so we are uniting as one, as one species. Uh, this is why I've spent the last six and a half years um, as a mediator, breaking down the barriers uh, between any separation, anything that will separate us race, color, religion, yeah. um, whatever it is, this is what we're here to do. This is what many of us have been working on. Yeah, is... that's, that's interesting too, because, you know, like out of, I, I started writing probably when, you know, you did it. I mean, it was, uh, well, 2012, you know, when we mm -hmm. first, and you, I mean, for me, I, I wasn't getting like, I was, but it wasn't galactic. It was all more like biblical, like angelic stuff, you know, like. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But you know, so so I know what I was writing, which was certainly uh, mirroring what a lot of people were writing. You know, we're one tribe. You know, and and you know, religion and country and borders and cultures, yeah. and color and all that stuff. And so it was a very human, you know, kind of like a uh, just a real, you know, common sense thing. <laughs> but then, you know, this year it seemed to shift. You know, and yeah. it was a really interesting dynamic because I saw. And other people talked about it. We're right up to that blood moon in what was it, July twenty seventh? Yeah. And for like three or four weeks leading up to it, you saw all this, all this backbiting and calling people out in these light worker circles. It was almost like the the abyss before the shift, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and I think that's starting to to uh, you know that's starting to take hold. I think people are starting to say, you know, there is no separation. And, 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 it's, and it's interesting, too. It's almost like a tightrope because, you know, you get this information in and you want to put it out, which is what we're supposed to do, like you uh, explained so well. Yeah. <laughs> but we've got we can't be attached to it either. You know, like, it, it, you know, like you said, there is no right or wrong. Yeah. You know, and, and people are like, oh, no, no. Well, you got all that right. But this or I don't resonate with that and <laughs> everything. You know what I mean? And so it's like, do. it's got to go away. You know, separation is separation, period. You know, so if I think I'm, you know, the son of Archangel Michael, you know, and I hold on to that, I'm just separating myself and I'm not doing my part. And it, and it takes, it takes that unity consciousness takes, takes us to the nth degree, no matter how powerful our role may be in our eyes. Yes. We have to maintain the fact that we're just like everybody else. And that's yeah. really that's and, and that's that's a great <laughs> that's a great compliment. But coming from a human, you know, we're so small and da 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 da. Uh, to really understand that we are we are the most important aspect of our multi-dimensional aspects. Yeah. We are the most important. Otherwise, why would we would we be conscious here ninety nine point nine percent of the time? You know what I mean? Exactly. 
Yeah. And you bring up a great point about, you know, this, the whole special thing. And sure, I had this awakening in 2012 and I had to go through my own, you know, many dark nights of the soul, <laughs> by the way, because, you know, as the information comes in. And so just to go back to Stargates, what happens when you get a huge influx of energy in, it's almost like a mushroom, you know, or a toroidal field, right? So it comes in and then it starts to permeate throughout the grid. It starts to permeate throughout our electrical system. And so it's then, it, it, we just keep going up in levels. It's like a layered cake, you know, it's the next level, the next layer of integration because the knowledge or the, the the frequencies without integration, without embodiment, this has really been the year of embodiment for for many of us, you know, and I say yeah. when this these energies come through, they allow us to refine, refine our bodies, refine our message, refine our purpose. So it's it's we get these next layers of refinement. And you know, I have people say at times, aren't we done yet? Like, you know, yeah. how, how many, it's just never ending. And, and, you know, I'm like, okay, I get it because yeah. that's how it seems. But I say, my answer is, do we have peace on this planet? Yeah. Are well, we united? Because yeah. if the answer is no, then we're not done yet. Do we <laughs> we're have, not there yet. Do, <laughs> we'll just take it slower to, uh, to the drill it down. Do we have peace in our relationship with who or who yeah. or whatever? Do we, do we have, have peace in our household? Do we have peace do, at yeah. work? Do yeah. we have peace in our hearts? Do you have peace in your heart? Yeah. <laughs> because that's what it's about. Yeah. Because, you know, if we don't, then yeah, well, it's, and, we're yeah, going to keep going. Yeah. And, and that's, that's to me, such a, you know, I know when I came out of the blocks, I was, I was told, and I wrote a lot, I would say that the universe is an infinite, beautiful simplicity where the, the finite mind of man is a finite complexity, you know? Yeah. And, but it's like now we're, you know, people say, I don't, I don't receive what she receives, or I don't see what he does. And in this, and it, and it just seems like in the basic sacred geometric, it's just strictly, hey, everything that comes in front of you, you run through the heart, and everything that comes out yeah. of you, you run out of the heart. And and, yeah. and I know it sounds cliche and and, and <laughs> simple, and it yeah. is, but it's not easy. But it it, it's, it can yeah. be with the knowledge that we have. It, it it certainly can, and I'm sure will be. Yeah. And then my other thought on that is, we've come this far. We know <laughs> we're divinity. We know yeah. we're not going to die. Why the <laughs> hell do we want to stop now? We might as well just go all the way out until we run out of breath, you know? <laughs> and that brings up another point is there, there's no, there's no time, linear time. We, you know, people, I'd say I, I, I'm nonlinear. I operate in a nonlinear space, meaning I, I, I operate outside of time of what many still, still go by. And so because I operate nonlinear I can be everywhere at the same time, right. right? So it's like I'm sitting in my house and my I have a son, you know, so I have to do regular earth stuff and uh, <laughs> and it's good. It's very, it can be very challenging at times, Gosh, but he's just doing a bunch of shows every day. <laughs> you're like what? Oh and my God. I know. Different oh. time zones too. So I'm like, what? I, I have such, I have such honor and blessings for you, Todd. I, I really do. I mean, I've, I've hosted some shows, you know, I used to do more lives um, and, and it can be challenging because you're processing and you're going through your own stuff, you yeah. know, with your life. And then you have to shift gears and hold the space for others. And, and many of us have been holding these very large spaces. And so when I say I'm, I'm nonlinear, I'm holding, you know, timelines open. Yeah. I'm holding energetic uh, gates open because that's part of what I'm able to do. And I've, I've gone through the iterations in the past you know, six and a half years to be able to do this. It, it's not always like this. I've had to be laid out for days at times and very much tune into my body when it wants to rest. I rest. I don't do anything. I'll cancel plans. 
That's so, so that's so important. And it I'm, is. I'm glad you brought that up because you know, I, I canceled two shows in the last 10 days and I've actually done pretty good with it for the last yeah. few, you know, three or four months. I haven't had to do that. And one of the people, which is all cool now, they're like, man, you know, <laughs> and I said, look, you know, you canceled on me last week. Yeah. Did I? Was it you? Yeah, <laughs> but I, I wasn't the one that said, oh, no. no I you said, weren't. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You said the I same thing to me. You said, like, <laughs> I'm getting the same thing. It's almost like you said, thank God, you know, but yeah, that's the thing. You know, it, it is, it is, uh, uh, and I'm not talking about the broadcasting. I'm talking about yeah. the functioning, whatever it is that we're functioning, doing in this quasi, you know, 3D, 5D, what is it in transition? You know what I mean? Is, yeah. is the, you still got to do it. You still got to get your lunch pail and go to work. Yeah. And uh, and so the the whole resting thing, and I know Lisa Transcendence Brown talks a lot about that in her evolution, yes. which was which was a forerunner for our rebel our evolution. She talked about how for two three years, you know, all she did was say, "Hey, I'm I'm getting horizontal. You know, I'm laying down." Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. And I'm I like, do it. yesterday was a good example. I think I did th uh, three three or four shows, but I was horizontal. <laughs> In, in between all of them. I oh, mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, so it is very important for, you know, and we do receive and we do get activated yeah. when we're in what we call dream state. You know, we absolutely do. You know, there's no exactly. doubt about it. And that's the whole thing. I say I'm 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 monitoring multi dimensions even right now. Oh, so yeah. as I'm speaking to you. You know, I might receive something that's that's wants to come through for the show, but there's things going on in the background, yeah. and I've just had to learn to function like that. Yeah. Which again, in some days, is very difficult, especially you know when I have things to do, when I have responsibilities, and um, you know I like many um, I haven't had a 3D job in quite some time because. I, there's, there's just no way <laughs> to, to show up necessarily at specific times. Um, because again, we are outside of time. We are not in linear time anymore. We haven't been for many years. Yeah. We've just had to catch up. And like you said, we can't go from one reality to another overnight. That mm -hmm. would, you know, blow things up. It has to ha be happen in stages the body has to go through uh stages of purification yeah. of light you know where you're able to hold more light and that's uh why many of us who do this work we're able to hold a very high level of light because we've done we've purified over the years yeah. because we're able to manage and transmute and rest when we need to so I'm very much agree with Lisa in that way. Uh, when it comes in, it comes in and you're able to, you know, just be. Yeah. But yeah. I feel like that's changing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I know like today, this morning, you know, I, I've learned in my own right to try not to schedule, <laughs> try not to schedule <laughs> anything before, you know, yeah. two o'clock in, in my time. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, because it, you know, because it takes me, it takes me, you know, two, three hours to to really, uh, you know, catalog, digest, process, mm -hmm. realize. Uh, and, and so I had, you know, I have, like you said, we all have our personal lives. Mm -hmm. And then today <clears throat> I was in this state of the human was like, you know, looking at the looking at the clock, <laughs> looking <laughs> at the calendar. And I yeah. thought, wait a second, man. You know? <laughs> Linear time is not going to have a hold on me. And if yeah. I can, if I can get to that point where it's, you know, it's there, but it's not going to have a hold on my emotions, you know, mm -hmm. or, or I'm not going to be attached to it, you know, yes. then, yeah. then I think this, and I, of course I know it's not me because as the individual goes, so goes a collective, then, then this is how we break it. You know, this yep. is how we break it. Just like we're starting to have, um, you know, a lot of people feel like we've we've gone past the tipping point now, you know, and yes. this is what you're describing. I, I wanted agree. to ask you too. I wanted to ask you, you know, I think it was Rick Jewers was talking about 
uh, how, yeah, we we're kind of past the tipping point now mm -hmm. and that these first waivers, if you will, wayshores, whatever, uh, this month is where we really put it into motion. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, I, and do you think we'll see people stepping out, you know, very boldly, um, we're to the point where we're going mainstream. So. Oh yes. Heck yes. Oh yeah. I mean, we've, we've gone mainstream in some ways, just looking at like Gaia TV, you know, I, I mean, I don't know if you call that mainstream, but uh, I think we're going to see because what's happened is we're able to actually uh, ground because we've been grounding higher levels of frequency year by year now we're really able to uh, have, you know, actual landings. Yeah. Uh, we're at that place where the frequency now has is, is allowing us to reveal. And I said a few days ago about Antarctica because, uh, you know, in... in what, did you, uh, what did you say about that? Because I, <laughs> I have a very, very... Uh, uh, mm. <laughs> I'm very connected to that Antarctica thing. Ah, okay. So I would just say over the years, that has been uh, one of my roles is actually working in that uh, base. I'll call that a, uh, uh, a multi-level base. Um, and part of my role uh, in architecting uh, the grids, and that's one of the pieces that I have been doing since 2012, is to um, work in the inner earth realm. Okay. And that's something that I know has been talked about, you know, on Gaia that, that is get does get talked about. Um, I felt to share it because it is something I have worked on throughout the years. And a lot of it is uh, revealing our true nature of who we really are, okay. of what this planet really is about. Yeah. And yeah. So we will start to see uh, and feel and also activate these nodal points in our bodies, which will allow us to have superhuman type strength. Um, we will start to see that, I believe, very soon. Good, because I'm getting flabby. <laughs> <laughs> But I just, I just want to. And man, this is a, this is about the fifth thing I haven't really discussed that I've wanted to discuss. Oh, good! I'm so glad. Well, the thing is, is I look at these. You know, of course, I like a, a lot of people when they woke up, and I'm I'm kind of a freak about information. Uh, I did, you know, all the research. You know, because we you yeah. wake up and you're like, oh, 9/11 was a hoax, and you know, and <laughs> what else is there, and the archaeology and all this stuff, and yes. um, and then the psyops. You know, my stepfather was in the CIA for tw 25 years. Yeah. I know he, he told me in 1975, there's 13 families that run the world. And I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, yeah, but, uh, but what I'm getting at is, you know, I know that, 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 you know, the internet, you know, it was set up, it was a control mechanism. Of course, we're flipping it, but, you know, <laughs> uh, but my point is, is this probably half, half of what we see out there is, is a psyops, you know? So I don't, I don't, I, I'm of the mind of, I have complete faith and I trust and believe absolutely. Yes. But you know, at the end of the day, the whole trip is, is it's all within ourselves and, and trust and believe and love in ourselves. But uh, I don't, anything that's gotten a lot of press, I don't trust. <laughs> <laughs> anything that's had any, any, any type of uh, exposure, uh, ex you know, I don't trust the narrative, you know, because it's that whole thing about what will be disclosed and all that. But I really don't get wrapped up in that anymore. Because I really see that it's the internal, yeah. it's the internal elevations that we make that actually move this thing that yeah. give that give the collective global stage, if you will, no choice. We're running this thing. We're the power. The only the <laughs> only thing is we didn't know we were the dog chasing its own tail. Yeah. I that is so beautifully said and 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 so right on and and really, you know, part of when I say disclosure, it's to understand 
how manipulated we've really been. And so, yes, it is internal because it rather than trust what you see on TV or what you read or, you know, what, what you're told, it's about what you feel in your heart and what is true for you, yeah. what rings true. And so in the process of ascension activation of our, you know, expansive galactic body, uh, you know what's true. You feel what's correct. There is no, oh, I'm going to be told and then take that at face value. Yeah, because yeah. if it doesn't feel right, I don't no, do it. No, no, no. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, you trust I'm the, yourself. I'm on the front lines of that one. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm totally like you know. <laughs> it's, it's, the only law I follow is universal law, and and you know people yeah. say to me, "Well, you got to do this." And I don't got to do nothing. You know. Yeah. Now, I'm, it may look it's stupid to truth. people, but you know what? I'm not going to be. We've been enslaved long enough, and the, the thing is, exactly. we they just kept it from us. They kept it from us. So I mean, it's but it's out there yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, this is where. So, this, <laughs> I, I'd love to have you back. I'd love to support you doing oh, your, your thank own you. thing. I'd love to be lift, back. Lift this thing off. And, yes. Uh, I'm probably going to go into a semi isolation over the next 10 days. I'm still okay. going to broadcast, but I'll definitely be reaching out to you. I was wondering if there's, you know, with, with all reverence and honor and respect and love and appreciation, if there's <laughs> anything that you can pull from your. <laughs> multi-dimensional transmitter <laughs> you can offer to us and give us in this eternal moment uh, as we all share this space. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. All these beautiful reactions and comments. I can't wait to read them. Um, you know, I think what we touched on earlier is just to really understand uh, how powerful you really are to really, truly uh, deepen your self-worth because the one aspect of humanness is to question that we are worthy or we're, you know, question your worthiness. And I have done the same uh, because of the trauma, just being on this planet and some of the remembrance that came up and the manipulation. So I, I just want to, you know, share that um, and really from my heart to really feel what I'm saying and really feel it in your body. And it is about the heart. We are um, grounding this, uh, you know, all of these frequencies, all of these things, they don't matter unless each individual understands that they are part of this expansion, yeah. that they, they have a purpose for being here. You know, and I say we're grounding heaven on earth and yeah. that is through the heart. Yeah. That is where it, it, it comes and, and resides. So I will share a little a light language. Um, yeah. Kind of feels like a blessing <sighs> from kind of the Divine Mother, which is very much a source code for a lot of what comes through me and uh, where a lot of my heart resides. So I'll share that, that mother frequency uh, that many of us are looking for uh, is to kind of come back to that nurturing coming back to ourselves. So I'll share a little bit of that before we go. <laughs> so if you want to just imagine your heart, you can drop into the heart space and maybe take a few deep breaths. <sighs> And takai lahato koesha sana yaka soko kota ikata tian doto ashani sakai shota ela nahai koto kahata sho asai shokotsai sha tian ma hunya soka isha shotokaika chai soho tokai sha shata Sanaya Hanya Sukachai Shoto. So just sharing from my heart to yours, just the highest divine love that wants to come through. <laughs> mm. And so it is. And so it is. Thank mm. you. Thank you so much. Blessings, yeah. blessings. I want to tell everybody uh, <laughs> I appreciate what you brought up. 
Um, My pleasure. Because I feel, um, <laughs> I feel the mother goddess. Um, yeah. In this moment. And uh, I'm going to let everybody know. <laughs> I've, got, uh, I've got two more shows today. If these shows resonate with you. Please share. Consider making uh, even a small contribution. I don't know how this thing's going to go. I'm not going to give up until it's a reality. What has been put before me to put a 24 hour day, seven day a week, 365 day a year, continuous universal cast with multiple channels available on a handheld because I don't believe. <laughs> From what I understand, that it's going to come through a guy, yeah, no, no disrespect. It's not going to come through anything that's been out there. It's going to come from the 99.99% who we are, what we are, what we're part of. So yes. I just want to thank everybody for uh, all the support. I want to thank you for, oh, for, thank for you. spending this time with us. And I'll see you very soon. We'll do this again. Yes. Thank you so much, Todd. Thank you, everybody. All right. Blessings. <laughs> see everybody in uh, about an hour and 45 Bye. minutes with... Uh, uh, Sylvia Giza. Right. That's, That's it. Right. Bye. Bye-bye.